Okay, so we'll put together the horizontal stand. What you're gonna need is just three tools. Uh, two of them come with, you'll just have to grab a, a Phillips screwdriver for just a couple screws. I've broken each of these sections up to make it easy. So we have uh, the base, we have the telescoping, we have the back frame, we have the frames that hold the panel onto the stand. And then if you get two panels together, then we're gonna have these long brackets as well. So you may notice in the box, there's a lot of um, extra parts, screws, whatever. Don't get overwhelmed by that. We'll break this down um, just to make it as simple as we can. All right, so we start with the base. Really simple, you're just gonna screw the wheels on the bottom, no problem there at all. Second, is we're gonna do the telescope. So this will use both the smaller Allen wrench and the larger. The smaller one will go for these longer screws. The larger one will go for these two. All right, so the first thing you'll do is you'll open up the telescope so that it's longer. And we're going to put this, I like this at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That, that's the one that I like, that's a really good height. And then we're gonna put the two little screws right in here. All right, so we'll take this and this will go right in here. It doesn't matter if it goes this way or if it goes this way, we'll put it this way. All right, and now we're gonna take the long screws. So two of the screws are gonna go right in here. Two of them are gonna go right underneath and screw through the bottom into the telescope. Next step is we'll put on the front bracket, the back bracket, and the screws. The screws are the ones that you see partial threads and then partial smooth, and there's four of them total. There's no up and down on these, so it doesn't really matter which way, just as long as this one's gonna go in the front, match up with these holes. This one is gonna go into the back, and then these screws are gonna go through the back uh, into the front. And that's all you need to do with this part right here. After we have this on, then we're gonna go to the 90 degree piece, and then this part here, and then this is what's actually gonna hold the panel on to right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the top hole, and remember this is with this point coming down, we're gonna do hole number seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, hole number eight is what we're gonna use. And we're gonna put that onto the top hole here. Now these are the ones where it's one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? The other side that they're evenly spaced, that's where we're gonna screw the panel in. So the eighth hole, we're gonna place right here. And then this is gonna be the screw with the nut. So we're gonna go ahead and put the screw in. All the way through. And then we're gonna fasten the nut here. We're gonna do the same thing right down here. So where we have this more open slot here, we're gonna go ahead and put another screw here and then the nut on the other side. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing to this one right here. So again, we're gonna be eighth hole down and we're gonna be on this side where it's two, two, two and we're gonna be on the top hole on the 90 degree and then we'll put the second one right here. So now that we have this attached, this is going, going to eventually go right up on here and it's gonna sit. So now we just have to put the panel here. So we'll take that off. We're gonna use the end holes, the furthest side, and they're gonna go in these holes right here. So here we've got the four screws, two on either side. This is gonna be the one that's long and threaded all the way through. You just have to lean that down a little bit to have enough space. And then we'll go ahead and put here 
And then we'll do the same thing with this bracket right here. All right, so this is where you're gonna use the fatter Allen wrench to tighten these up. And you just want them to be snug. You don't want them to be over tight. This is where you may need a second person to help you out. So this right here will get lifted and can get placed right onto these brackets. All right, here's where this will sit. Now we want to lock this in and this is where these couple little pieces will come in. And this is where you're gonna use your Phillips head. So we'll come around to this side here. If you see right here, we have a little notch here and a little square there. And so these will fit in just right. One will fit in on one side, the other will fit in on the other side. So you can see how the point is going back here. This part is going here. This part is going right here. All right, so now that you got everything hooked up, you can go ahead and plug it in. Um, if you've got two panels, which I'll show you in a minute, you'll have those side by side, and then you can hook up the uh, leader follower as well. Now, we'll just get an idea of how tall this is. So this right here is about 53 inches. So a little bit over four feet. We wanna make sure that whatever bed or table that we've got with the massage table, chiropractic table, that it can be at a good height where the person who's laying down on this is gonna be about 12 inches away from the panel. Once you have this set, it's much easier to adjust your table than it will be to adjust this. Because you've got so much weight on this, you would have to have a couple people on either side here and then someone else on this side to unscrew and to push those couple buttons in to get that telescope to go down or up again. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. So try to make sure you get this situated correctly first. You can go down more buttons on the telescope. You can go up one and that's all. At that point, if we're putting two panels on together, it gets a little bit too top heavy and a little bit too wobbly and a little bit insecure. If we're doing two panels, side by side, it's gonna be the shorties. We wanna take these uh, little white peg legs and unscrew them so we can bring this panel tight together. That way it'll close that gap and it'll bring the lights closer together. So we're gonna have the panel display on this side and the panel display on this side. So if you're doing two panels, it's gonna be just two shorties. We don't want any extra weight, so we're not gonna do anything else but a shorty and a shorty. We're gonna place it right here. So it's gonna be the second hole down is gonna align with this top hole here. The fourth hole down is gonna align here. It's gonna align here and here as well. So we're gonna take these screws and we're gonna place them in all these spots and screw them in. We're gonna do the exact same thing with this one here. Second, fourth, second, fourth. So once we get all of these screwed in, this is gonna be one solid piece. Now we can take that same bracket and we're gonna go ahead right here. That's gonna be the fifth hole down from the top fifth hole down from the top. That's gonna to be placed right here. And these long screws are gonna go in. Again, same as before, where it's gonna be the end holes are gonna go in and screw into this. This is where you're gonna need uh, help with someone to lift this up because it does weigh about 60 pounds. Once we have all these screwed in, then what you can do is you can have one person on this side 
one person on that side. Gently lift this hole up. You're gonna go ahead and put this on the stand. And then the last thing you're gonna do is screw in those little gray uh, wing pieces. And now you're secure. It's most important when you have this extra weight on it to be careful when you're moving it because it is gonna be a bit top heavy. So make sure that when you do move it, you unlock all four wheels. And then when you get them to, into whatever position you need, then you can go ahead and lock all those wheels as well. So on this part, you can connect the daisy chain so it shares electricity, and you can co uh, connect the uh, master slave leader follower as well. So that's where they're synchronized and you can just use one remote for the leader and that will control everything with the follower. This is the final setup. Don't forget, once you put these on, then you have to put these little wings in here and that locks this in place. Now it's best when you're running one cable to the wall outlet to connect it uh, with a uh, electrical strip that you can turn on and off. That way, each time you come here, you don't have to click the on button on both of them. You can just click on the power strip button. That'll turn everything on. And then you can use the remote to put in the mode, the setting, the timer, all of that. Um, again, make sure that you set the table first because adjusting this after it's already on here is gonna be very difficult. And whenever you do put this on, make sure you've got at least two people, one on either end to put this whole thing onto this bracket. You may need a third person as well, because again, this is 33 pounds each plus the uh, metal brackets as well. So it's heavy, all right? And then once you have this set, then you can unlock the wheels, gently move it. I recommend you have one person on either side anytime you're moving this in or moving it out.